Hey everybody, uh, Spoonfat here and today we're going to run a reverse engineer malware Nux or Rednux uh, live CD. We cannot install this, why not? Well, it will be a bit pointless actually because you're reverse engineering a malware that's on a PC so you want this to be an environment that's outside of that so you won't influence each other. Um, I've not run this at all, so I have no idea, but literally no idea what to expect or how to log in or whatever. So maybe I should have followed that. Well, that's usually this works. Well, it does, but that does not help us a lot. All right, so we have Firefox. Let's see. All right, we have a um, SQL database. SQL database manager. We've got some editors. We've got some graphics. Some network communication, telnet stuff like that. Monitoring Wireshark to see, uh, maybe see what the uh, what it does. Uh, you have to turn Skype off. Ah, oh, blur it out. Uh, some programming, of course, always easy. Mathematics, some shells, some different shells, system uh, administration. All right, that's uh, pretty cool for the hardware monitoring for hardware to see what happens with that. Some terminal emulators and a view. I should say that a uh, root terminal. No applets. All right. Right mouse button maintenance themes. Uh, I mean, it looks pretty cool actually. No idea what this thing is. <laughs> oh, go away. There and get it on this thing. Oh, get it's not on there. Uh, which editor was there? It was an editor, I know for sure. Applications, editors here. X edit, or I'll well, take that one. It's called site or site. Let's see if we can run that. Yes, all right. Ah, it's a Ruby PDF manipulation. I did not know that. I am sorry, my cat Rorschach, who is not shy at all anymore, has become a very much, well, the arch typical evil genius. He's very sweet, then nonetheless, but he is an evil genius. Alright, so we know what a origami is. I do not know what origami is. Like I said, I don't know anything about this. Anything. Gesundheit. Or Gesundheit. Is there a readme on this? Let's see what the fuck is going on. <laughs> don't try it again, Rorschach. You weird cat. You awesome cat, you. Let's see, rules, tools, PDF, install, spider monkey. <clears throat> sounds pretty awesome, but I have no idea what the fuck does. Maybe you can just run it. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I had to do it like so. Usually this will help. Yes, it does. Alright, what, what the fuck does it do? Oh, all right. <clears throat> yeah, let's do with JSON files and JavaScript. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. Yes, awesomeness. Do we have downloads? Nope. Do we have? What do we have in here? Do we have a? Yes, yeah, Rorschach. 
maybe ops no all right cool so that's the files I think it's more um, of a live distro to monitor what a malware does than to actively reverse engineer it because well there's no real like reverse engineering tools on it per se uh, I mean what is this Oh, magnification. Yeah, okay. So, of course, of course, of course. Uh, Debian applications. Well, you have data management. You have a couple of editors. There's not, you have some network monitors, some programming, different shells. But there's not really, there's not really anything in here that like, would make you. Yeah. How do you say it? Well, get to reverse engineering fast. I mean, um, Kane at least provides a good interface, but you know what? It's not up to me. Uh, this is the reverse engineering malware Linux live CD anyway. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I maybe you think, well, this is the perfect distro for me to use in reverse engineering malware. So. Uh, yeah, that is it for me, and take care.